Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to the video. We're here today down in the beautiful southwest of Western Australia, in Meelup Beach. In this video, we're going to be taking you guys through this bed platform and drawer system. Now, this bed platform is meant to be as kind of convenient as possible. It still allows you to have middle seats in the vehicle and in my opinion it is one of my coolest installs so i'm going to take you guys through how i installed this bed platform and also how i installed this uh, drawer as well but before i do that i'll show you guys how it kind of fully sets up so let's get into it In terms of the installation, the first thing I did was install this drawer. So this is an XTM drawer that I got from BCF. The drawer is actually fairly simple to install. In these GU patrols, the first thing you do is remove this front strip. Now the front strip has a couple of Phillips head screws that you have to take out, plus some clips as well. Once the strip is taken out, you can lift up the carpet to get underneath. Now you want to lift up to get underneath to get access to the bolts or the mounting points for your drawer. Ideally, you don't want to be drilling any holes into the vehicle itself. However, I had to drill a couple of holes just to make room for these bigger bolts that I think are more suited to tying down the drawer. Once you've drilled the hole in the vehicle, make sure that you clean up the hole, make sure there's no debris, such as metal filings or anything like that. And also make sure you paint the vehicle as well so that it doesn't rust. Once the holes are drilled, you can start to line up the drawer what I found was easy with the drawer is to take off the roof. The roof is held on by some Allen key bolts. So you have to just unscrew those Allen key bolts so you have access to the bottom. Pretty much the whole of the XTM drawer is Allen key bolts. So it's, it's quite straightforward in that respect. Once you get the drawer off, you can line up the bottom of the drawer that you bolt down to ensure that it lines up with the holes that you've either drilled or the factory holes that are in the vehicle. Once it's lined up, you can start to bolt it in. Straight? That's straight? I don't know. Is that straight? All right, so that's the drawer done and dusted. The next step is the actual platform, the really exciting part in my opinion. I pretty much got all my parts from Bunnings. So I'm going to link all the parts in the video here now, just so you guys can kind of do it the same way I did it. Now to start off with the platform, I had a piece of plywood that I measured up um, and, and cut to size. Now I've got two pieces of plywood, like I said. So one is the largest piece of plywood. That's the one I cut up first and started using first. Once you have your dimensions, you need to just test fit the plywood. Test fitting the plywood is essential. If it's too big, then obviously it's not gonna fit. If it's too small, that might mean that you have to cut another size of plywood. So the next step is to actually glue the carpet onto the plywood. Now the glue that I use is just liquid nails. So make sure you get the liquid nails that suits plywood and carpet. Um, otherwise you can use whatever other adhesive you want to use. Now, once you've actually got the glue and the carpet and the plywood all together, it's good to use a bit of weight. So the weight allows the glue to kind of set properly. So once the carpet has actually set onto the plywood by using the liquid nails or the adhesive or the glue or whatever you're using, you can now cut the carpet to size. Now, what I like to do is obviously use the least amount of carpet as possible, but I also wanted carpet on both sides of my plywood. I just want it to be kind of uniform all around. But if you like, you can leave the bottom part of your plywood kind of bare because you're not going to see it anyway. Once you kind of cut up the carpet, then you can get onto the staple gun. So use a staple gun to staple in the edges of the carpet onto your plywood. This just gives it a little bit more support. Now, once you have the glue and the nails on, then you can start installing it to the car. So I actually used an off cut of the plywood that I cut. I just used an off cut of the plywood as a piece that was able to hold up the bed. Now this off cut, I used a bracket to attach onto the car. There's four mounting points on this vehicle that I used to tie down this platform. And I used brackets from Bunnings to do that. All I did was use a couple of nuts and bolts, nothing too fancy, and I didn't actually drill any holes here either.
So once the brackets are in, you can start to really mount the platform onto the car. So I've got the off cut that is mounted on first. Then you put the platform on, that mounts on too. Now, although the base of the platform is kind of ready to go, and this is probably a good setup for someone who doesn't really want a bed, they just need something that allows them to be a little bit more modular in their camping or whatever they're doing, we still have one more step, which is to get the second platform on top of the first platform. Now, the second platform is made in the exact same way the first one is. You have to measure up exactly where it goes, cut to size, put the carpet on, and allow to set. So the idea of the second platform is to allow me to kind of flip it over to extend the platform so that it's able to be turned into a bed. Now the way that I wanted to do this, there's two ways I was thinking. One, you can just like slide it on, or the other way is to put a hinge and allow it to flip over. I did the second way. Now to do this, obviously it needs to be able to flip over so it's not gonna be as big as the original platform. So once you've created the second platform, you've allowed the glue to set and everything else, you line up the second platform with the first one and mark your holes where you want your hinges to be. Once the holes are marked up for the hinges, drill some holes into the platforms and then you can install the hinges. Once the hinges are installed, then you can kind of test the second platform, ensure it kind of works and ensure it kind of clears the roof as well. Keep in mind that the actual hinge itself is gonna kind of push the platform up closer to the roof every time you flip it. And also the carpet's gonna like make it a little bit more kind of thick as well. So keep that in mind when you're doing your measurements. Okay guys, so that's how you install a bed platform to your vehicle. Obviously your vehicle may differ to mine, but in general, the concepts are pretty similar. So if you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So cheers.